I saw her a little bit in warm-ups yesterday night uh, during the practice session, and she has developed a very, very powerful backhand loop as well. We'll see it again, uh, perhaps, definitely in the match, and a little bit in warm-ups here, maybe. Uh, but she's developed into a very good all-around player. Nice. I'm, sh I'm sure hoping to do uh, even better this year in the singles competition than she ended up last year. I believe maybe losing in the semifinals, uh, but definitely made it past the quarters. And doubles the communication between partners is always something that you really want to have. You guys want to be on the same page. The girls have to know exactly where the other girl's going to move. We don't have both teams aren't lefty-righty, but they are for the Texas Westland, and that actually might be the decision maker here in this match. The I fact that the Texas Westland team can use both forehand from the middle of the table really helps. Definitely. It gives them more weapons to fire with uh, as opposed to the Wisconsin team who does, like we mentioned, play that slightly different uh, change of pace style game. Texas is going to rely on their uh, big forehands partnered with that lefty-righty combo to knock down their opponent. Let's just take a moment to thank our sponsors, TMS International, the official marketing firm for all ITTF events worldwide. Yola for the champion in you. Doublefish, the official ball sponsor. Gurfloor, the official floor sponsor. Round Rock Convention Center and USA Table Tennis. Here we go, Kevin. Westland strikes first blood. Oh. You don't know if that's good placement or if that's just an edge ball. Mm -hmm. Right on the white line there. I like to think uh, that at this high of a level, you're always aiming in a direction. Mm -hmm. Now, if you try to play the ball deep and you hit the white line a lot, that, that happens because you're aiming for the end line. Exactly. There's that long pips being able to control the return of serve. Tied up, Wisconsin to serve. Oh. Powerful ripping forehand cross court. Right, right off the bounce, too. Exactly. Nice. Good timing. Yeah, taking it very low like that off the bounce, it allows you to use the speed from your opponent's shot and put back something more powerful. Again, when they make that service error, it's not really their fault. They're really trying to keep it short. It's precision movement. Oh, look at that touch off the net. Control. Boom. She went for it. Definitely. That's the power we were talking about uh -huh. earlier. You can hear that cracking forehand sound picked up by the microphones around the court. She's swinging fast. I love to see the footwork of these ladies. They move a lot. They're always on their toes. They're always bouncing around. You see they're ready. They bend their knees. It's not your average game. I mean, this is college nationals here. Everything's on the line. You want to win for your school. You want to win for your team. Plus, you want to win for yourself. And footwork really comes into play uh, in this doubles format. Yeah, the two righties, you see them moving around each other. Exactly. There's a little <laughs> bit less work for the Texas team. Yes. but. Wisconsin is going to put some mileage on them. And then if you see, she's serving long, fast, dead, right in that long pip. She's going to switch now and use the short pips. She stayed with the long. That's one thing I haven't seen her do, really, is twiddle, you know, kind of turn the paddle, which some people do. Mm -hmm. She yeah. might not be a twiddler. We talked about that a little bit in the one of her previous rounds. Uh, she didn't quite have the, that in her repertoire. Mm -mm. Oh. Right as we say that, mm -hmm. she twiddles and serves. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that stuff. Yeah. Who knows, maybe maybe we jinxed it. That's how it works, commentator jinx. But it's interesting. I wonder uh, if we continue to see her twiddle on the serve like that, if she will continue to play the point with the reversed rubber position. Or, or does she twiddle back, right? Exactly. Yeah, good question. 
that last point ended so quickly we didn't have the chance to, mm -hmm. to see how it played out. Yeah, Texas Wesleyan has definitely been the aggressors in this, in this first game. They're up 10-5. Oh, and on a powerful forehand from Anastasia, they managed to take the first game of this match, 11-5. to five. To address that point a little bit about uh, aggression, uh, Texas has dominated. Uh, Madison, Wisconsin is, is really uh, on every point reeling, trying to recover and defend, uh, and that's not their game plan. They, they need to use their pips, move the ball around, but be playing a placement game instead of playing a I just hope the ball stays on the table game. Absolutely. You want to use that more as more effe effectively, I think, and more efficient. You don't want to just put it there and let the ball go back. Mm -hmm. I wonder, uh, what do you think, Barney, the Texas coach is saying to his players to help them keep focused and continue this? Uh, I mean, if, if I'm him, I'm letting them know that you don't want to give too much spin into the long pips. You want to keep it simple serve, simple serve, so the ball coming back is something you, you're comfortable with. I mean, if you give them an underspin serve and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to get an underspin return and then the ball comes back topspin, you're messed up. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, so you really want to keep it simple. I mean, even though you know the spin's getting reversed on long pips, sometimes it's habit that you just swing for the ball versus if you could put no spin, then you're kind of not fighting against the pips. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're playing in the doubles format when you uh, are serving perhaps an underspin ball uh, and as a singles player, expecting that topspin return because you know you're serving to a pips. Uh, in doubles, there's that extra focus when you're the off player, not attacking or serving, uh, who needs to know that uh, my partner's shot is going to come back with that reversed spin. Yeah, absolutely. You have to become a, a long pips player if your partner's using long pips. We really need to, s Maria needs to step up. She needs to start initiating her offense. But Texas Wesleyan is just not letting her. They're really holding Song on that pips. Boom. They're attacking every long serve. I mean, anything they get a chance to, they're on top of it. And it's an interesting discussion. People always have mixed feelings about pips. Some people say, oh, they should be banned. It's not table tennis. Uh, but it shows uh, lower level players who aren't quite as experienced in playing against pips have a lot of trouble because they don't know what to expect but when you've played lots of matches against pips and know to serve like we've talked about no spin balls uh, you can really take advantage of it yeah absolutely and with a 4-1 lead in the second game that's exactly what we're seeing happen right now if you notice the Texas Westland team they never cross each other because of the lefty-righty, mm -hmm. you know? Each one can go back to their backhand corner, go back to their backhand corner. Whereas the Wisconsin team, they're making like a circle. Making, yeah. They get themselves kind of trapped. And that's the advantage. And again, we keep mentioning it, that lefty-righty, but in doubles, I mean, it's, it's such a huge advantage. This is a crucial game. Wisconsin's still alive. She's twiddled there. Ah. She started like she was going to use the black, then she twiddled to the red. On the serve, receive? Yeah, on the receive, which is something you got to do. You got to mix it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shows some dexterity to be able to do that in the moment. Mm -hmm. and as you can see, 5-5, five five, Wisconsin's hanging right in there and hopes to push the second game. Ooh. Net court, that's all right. Took the spin off. Can't quite control the block. Notice how wide the Texas players play the ball. Absolutely. You don't want to go down the center too much. You want to make your opponents move. Especially playing against two right handed players in this doubles format. I'm looking for a timeout right here if I'm Wisconsin. I don't want to be down 2-0. Pop it long, 9-5 to Texas, as they appear to be in control. 
in the last couple doubles matches we've watched, the Long Pips has been able to control the other team. But in this match, it's actually been a disadvantage for them because this team is controlling the Long Pips. Definitely. They're doing what they want when they want. That really is the potential disadvantage to using, like she has set up, uh, long pips, short pips, so there's no inverted rubber, no chance to, to make a play and try to add spin to the ball, uh, except for that long pips attack that doesn't get much. Although there appears to be a little bit of life from Wisconsin, 10-7. We'll see if they can make a run, make this exciting. And you hear zero. You notice the Texas Westland has a big cheering squad compared to a lot of the other schools. Definitely. They travel well, and they're this year uh, a pretty close home squad, not too far as, as some of the past. Uh, they did actually, in fact, uh, they're a favorite in both women's doubles, uh, many of the singles, and as well as both women's and uh, co ed team competitions. Uh, they did, in fact, bring 11 coaches this weekend good uh, for them i'm glad their school has they offer one full scholarship to player you know i mean they, they're doing things to help promote and i really like that i mean other schools could learn from that and offer scholarships as well to try to attract better players and some are doing that as you see aloni co you know college has got new players and mississippi they keep getting new players and yeah it's definitely raised the level of college table tennis in the u.s it's awesome it's very fun to see yeah yeah i remember uh, two years ago uh, three if you count this year. I had a, a player from our team qualify for the singles competition with, uh, in the men's with a, about an 1100, 1200 uh, rating. He got a wild card bid, uh, it didn't end up coming. But the level of play we see now is, is so, so much higher. We have, uh, I'll check the exact number, but it's uh, a very large amount of women's players above 2,000 this year, more than we've ever seen before. Okay, while you're doing that, Wisconsin gets ready to serve. They're down 0-2. A little confusion on who's serving to who, but they get it figured out. The other umpire is not ready. This point's going to be a let. We'll do it again. Uh, I did have a chance to check that. Uh, we actually this year have 25 women's players above 1,900. Very strong field. Very strong. Seems Wisconsin comes out a little more aggressive this second. 2 0 up. And that's what we need to see if we expect uh, them to make a run at this match and not just crumble and fall. Oh, nice one. See that Pips kind of traps her. She was stuck right there. What could she do? Yeah, it would have been nice to have a sheet of inverted to rip that back in. <laughs> Counter loop it and go. I think they're, they're attacking off of her serve every time Song serves, and that doesn't give Maria a chance to use her weapons, which are her attacks. Definitely. She's always on the defense. It's interesting also, you don't see Song use those pips really for an off-the-table chop. She tries to play very close. Uh, that blocking pips shot that we see a lot from her. Uh, in this shot, well, in this match, it would be nice to have something a little more off the table to add some variety to her repertoire. Now she's being a little more aggressive instead of just blocking the ball, actually going for it. You gotta have that. I mean, down 2-0. Definitely, and we talked about uh, earlier in the match how Texas players weren't even crossing each other at all. 
Uh, two points ago, we saw Wisconsin play a ball down the line that forced the Texan player to overlap and drew the teammates uh, kind of into each other and caused some confusion that got them the point. Yeah, that's a strategy if you're playing a lefty and righty. You have to try to make them cross, basically play two balls at the same point, so they have to, they have to go after each other. That's a good thought. I'll use that when I play doubles next. <laughs> Oops, I shouldn't say that out loud. I'm a lefty. <laughs> <laughs> Just gave away the secret. Hey, I'm a righty. You want to play doubles sometime? <laughs> sure. Let's have a doubles event at your club. Oh, we'll clean house. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. I know a guy. <laughs> That's a beautiful backhand. That's what you were talking about at the beginning of the match. You said she's improved her backhand. You can see that right there, that backhand off the bounce right there. Beautiful. Yeah. Very loose arm. Mm -hmm. Very smooth. Puts a lot of spin on it, too, not just mm -hmm. a powerful flat shot. That's the key. A lot of people don't realize when you're playing table tennis, it's more fluent than power. I mean, of course, you want to use the power when you have the shot, but it's only at contact that you exert that power. You know, you don't want to be stiff because if you see something that you have to change, you have to have that looseness like a cat before they strike. You know, they're very relaxed, but then they can jump 10 feet in the air. And there again was that down the line shot, this time a push that forced Anastasia to cross her partner's path and shuffle. One point lead for Texas Westland. Yeah, you see Song when she tries to force that offense with either side, the short or the long pips, she's not as confident as she is at a blocking game. And that, that's tough here in the finals because all four of these, three of these players besides herself are ready to go. And there she blocks it, oh nice. That's a tough one. Didn't that quite was deep. D very deep, yeah. Mm. The Adina didn't quite seem to recognize it. Her feet were too close to the table. You saw her lean back. Eight serving nine. Oh. Nine all, they're back. Let's go, Badger women. Make it a match. Definitely. <laughs> it's not like we're cheering for either side. We just want to see a good match. We want to see Deuce in the fifth. <laughs> exactly, always. Yeah. And we have seen a lot of deuce matches, even deuce in the fifth, mm -hmm. right, already on this table today. We always get fun play in college table tennis. Everybody wants it, fighting for their schools. There we go. One game point coming up to the Wisconsin team as they look to take this third game and make a run at Texas. Appears to have caught an edge as she hooks it uh, off the edge. Just long, deuce. I mean, nothing wrong with what Song did. She played a good ball. It's just that long pips is a little bit slower, and the girl was able to get her forehand in there. Oh. And that time, the backhand didn't quite pay off. She appears to be swinging a little bit up high. It's not that low, straightforward backhand, a lot of wrist action that we saw. Yeah, that shot, she was pushed off the table a little bit more. The other one, she kind of was right at the table. Yeah. 11-11. For those of you in the audience watching us on the internet, you need to come here come to the NCTTA tournament next year and watch the action live. It's awesome. This is my first time here, but I love it. As Texas gets their first match point of the game, match point of the match. This is it. See, they try to keep it low. And then what happens? It touches the net. You know they want to serve this one. Though. Boom. There's that backhand. What a rally. And she tried it. Appeared. And that's it. 2016 national champions. Way to go. Wow. Texas Westland does it again for the women's doubles. Very fun to see. Texas mm. back up on the podium after a, a few years of, uh, well, at least last year of Princeton's domination. This year, no Princeton team at the Nationals tournament. And Texas prevailed.
One thing I did want to add, we saw on that last point as it snuck by her, Song did reach and try for that far table chopping move, but couldn't quite reach it, didn't have her feet in position. If I was her coach, that's something. I'd You'd add a chopping game to her? I would add a chopping game. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. The more tools you have around your waist when you're going into battle, you know. Yeah, especially if you're a player who's relying so heavily on the pips like that mm -hmm. and playing with them on both sides. Uh, above a 2,000 level. But we have action, Kevin, on table two. We have Texas Westland versus Mississippi. Mississippi won the first game, but they trail five to seven. If you guys would turn the over to table two live stream. Yeah, but keep us open, otherwise you won't hear us on the table <laughs> two stream. So split screen action is what is called for. There you go. We'll let you guys enjoy that. We gotta take a little break here, thank you.